What's the proper way to really pour and taste champagne? Yes. First thing that you want to do is find the pull tab. Okay. And you'll find the pull tab that will release the foil. And then you take the foil off of the cork. And then you always want to have some kind of napkin. So yes. You know, this is very dangerous. You've got about the same amount of pressure as in a double decker bus tire. So that's going to help you control it. Every bottle of champagne, you're going to turn that ring one, two, three, four, five, six times. Okay. Okay. And now we're live. We gotta be oh, careful. Oh, here we go. Sure you're here's the moment. Away from people. And here's the trick. Okay. Turn the bottle, not the cork. The it cork. simply gives you more control. Okay. Ooh, and, and look, it's so seamless. It's almost <laughs> like you have this as your job to be able to do this.